YouTubers and RV fans. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to do an RV chat and I'm going to have a little bit of a conversation with some of my subscribers. Um, the last three days have been amazing being here in Lafayette, uh, Louisiana. Um, learning the culture, learning the people, and learning how to get around. That's the big deal. Um, I've learned that Google doesn't like to take me the main way to places. It takes me everywhere but where I want to go. But you know, I've been using an app called Waze and it's um, been a great app. It has not made one mistake yet in the on these Cajun roads. So lots of Cajun food here, lots of uh, great things to do and see, which I'll be doing. And of course, I'm waiting on my Louisiana nursing license so I can get a job. But let's not talk about any of that. I kind of wanted to go through a little bit about some of the comments that my subscribers have left because some of them are really awesome. And I think they're going to help me start a conversation with you. So hopefully that's going to make this video pretty interesting. Because you know I hate boring videos and boring content. All right. And I guess some, <laughs> one of the comments that my brother made, he's like, listen, I love watching you drive, but you know, three minutes of driving and music, he's like, yeah, that's just too much. So I'll accept that constructive criticism, you know, my channel, my way, but I don't want to put you through, you know, three minutes of driving. I suppose you could go to any channel and see that, but I kind of like the music selection and apparently some of the other folks do anyway. So <laughs> since I've been back to the RV since, um, December, I think it was December 19th. Um, lots of stuff has happened. Um, really got myself motivated. Um, when I was in North Carolina, I knew that was not the life I was going to continue to live. I knew I needed to be back in the RV and I needed to be traveling. So I pretty much committed that I was going to do a lot of different things. And one of the things that I was going to do was really get comfortable behind the wheel. You know, when you buy an RV, it's amazing because, um, you know, it's a big rig, especially a Class A. Even even mine, which is kind of small, I mean at 27 feet, it still is a big rig on the road. And so you've got to get used to it. You've got to drive it. You've got to spend time, you know, um, just getting used to behind the wheel. Anyway, I was pretty committed to spending more drive time with the RV. And I did that. Um, for the period of time I got back to Alabama, I spent time behind the wheel driving uh, Myrtle to and from everywhere so it was really good plus I was also doing a lot of work um, on getting some of the things done that I wanted to get done with her so I was back and forth to the repair shop um, then of course I had some issues with my air conditioner back and forth to the repair shop and then I wanted to get the oil change back and forth to the repair shop so we spent a lot of time back and forth to the repair shop but and then what I would do is I take the long way around so I would take you know 20 miles to get back to the RV park which gave me more drive time. And, and after three weeks of doing that, I really started to feel much more comfortable about braking and steering and all the other things. But I still had a lot of panic about the tow dolly. So, you know, it's funny that RV Frida um, said in, in, um, in her comment, she's like, you're a pro now. <laughs> remember when you were scared? And you know, RV Frida, I do remember when I was scared. And that's why my channel is important for newbies because at least I'm genuine and at least I tell you like it is. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be all macho and, you know, oh yeah, I got this and let's put that tow dolly on. Um, you know, at least for newbie RVers, they can watch my channel and they can live through my experience and know that growth comes from facing your fears. Growth comes, comes from exposing yourself to the things that challenge you. You know, I never had any experience driving anything bigger than a U-Haul. That's the first thing. And the second thing is I've never towed anything in my life. So driving a Class A and towing my car. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, I was scared. <laughs> I'm not scared anymore though, RV Frida. So, but thanks for your comment. <laughs> and then let's see what Grumpy Grandma said. Gigi, thank goodness you made it through the storm safe. Yes, thank you, Gigi. I agree. Um... I stopped in uh, Mississippi on the way to uh, Louisiana because I saw a lot of black clouds coming over I-10 and I pulled out my my weather app and you know it looked like a pretty small line of storms that were coming through so I hung around in Mississippi for just a little bit and then I got back on the road and I got some rain but nothing major no major winds no major storms which was good 
So, but thank you, Gigi, for your comment. Um, I think driving and weather, you know, of course, is another issue for newbie RVers. You know, um, my suggestion for somebody who's relatively new is, you know, monitor yourself when you're driving. You know, if the weather gets bad, pull over. Pull over to a rest area and wait it out. You've got your house with you, so just pull over. Turn on your generator, make yourself a cup of coffee, take a nap, and then get back on the road when it's better. You know, there's no rush unless you're, you know, have a specific timeline, and then you're going to be late. That's just how it goes. Just a little piece of advice for me. Alby Chavez says, are you staying in Louisiana or is this just a road trip? Um, good to see you so at ease with the road. Thanks, Alby. Um, a lot of people ask me what I'm going to do in Alabama. Well, I'm going to be working here, um, and that's important. So, And I also want to hang out with my mom and spend some time with her and also with my friend Shirley and some other folks that I know here in Louisiana. I may be here six months. I may be here a year. Uh, more than likely, I'll be here six months, seven months. Um, I do have plans on meeting up with um, R and RV Chronicles in Arizona in September. If that doesn't work out, then I'm probably going to go to New Mexico. So I love New Mexico. I think northern New Mexico is beautiful, and I think it's a good place to winter. So we'll see. Uh, if not, then I may head out to Quartzsite and hang out there for a couple months and um, hopefully have some good internet out there. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but. So my, my travel plans are kind of up in the air. I know it's going to be either New Mexico or Arizona. But thanks for the kind words, um, Albie. You know, it's nice to feel like you are a little bit more of a pro. Again, it comes down to drive time. Uh, for newbie RVers, I think it's really important that you drive the rig until you get comfortable, you know. And don't read all of these blogs and our IRV2 that you know and focus on the negative about how terrifying it is to drive and yeah anything is terrifying to drive in the beginning but once you get a handle on it driving an RV is not any different than driving a big truck I think anyway let's see M Michelle Mike Bradley commented good to see you back on the road thanks Michelle Mike I appreciate it it's good to be back on the road I have to tell you um, I really have missed living in the RV and being able to go whenever I want to go. She says, um, what brand or model is your rear Start camera model? I'm looking into these wireless cameras and I know there was a lot of debate about connectivity and accuracy and, and image stabilization and all those different things. But I found the Fusion um, observation um, system and that's what I have, the Fusion Observation System. It's a little bit expensive, but at the end of the day, it has great connectivity. Uh, it connects beautiful to my um, wireless monitor. Um, and it has strong, it's like a four bar strength. So it was a great decision and it's helped me to be more mobile. And again, that was the goal when I came back from North Carolina, I needed to be able to. All right, on to the next one. All right, on to Brian Kinney. Hey, Brian. Brian says, um, that would be a little scary at first. And I think he was referring to uh, towing the car. Yes, Brian, it is. And for everybody else out there who may kind of had a little chuckle when you saw my video about me putting things together with the lady uh, from U-Haul. The lady from U-Haul was a sweetheart. And I just said to her, I said, listen, I've never done this. I want to make sure I do it right. You know, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on it, so I feel pretty proficient. And she was like, no problem, I'll help you. And um, she didn't even mind being on camera, which was nice because I ask everybody. I don't just arbitrarily go in and say, uh, you're going to be on camera whether you like it or not. Um, and I said to her, I said, do you mind being on camera? She's like, oh, no, I, I don't mind being a movie star. <laughs> so she was she was a sweet lady. Anyway, so, yeah, Mike, it was a little scary. It's a very, a very nice lady that helped you. Yes, she was. I'm sure you checked all the requirements for towing your car. That's a good point, Brian. Thank you. Um, the point about checking the requirements for towing your car. My car is a 2014 Chevy um, turbo diesel. When I purchased this car, I didn't necessarily have the idea that I was going to be a full-time RVer. I read the owner's manual from front to back. I contacted Chevrolet and talked with him about it as well. And they said it was fine to go ahead and 
tow the car with the front wheels up. What they didn't tell me was that the car was going to have all kinds of freakouts when it comes off of the dolly and you start it up for the first time. I had all kinds of alarms and sirens and you know lights all flashing up on the um, on the dashboard. There was issues with my ABS. There was issues with my exhaust. There was issues with my speedometer. My speedometer was 10 miles off. Um, now that all reset after 24 hours and everything was fine. But it made me nervous because I thought maybe I, I fried the drivetrain or something. But um, I didn't. So thankfully. But yes, Brian, you're absolutely right. And then there's Grandma Patty. Love you, Grandma Patty. Uh, what I love most about your RV is the enormous windows. What a display. It is. And that's what's so intimidating about it sometimes. You know, when I was going through the tunnel in Mobile, um, I kind of had a little bit of a panic attack because everybody in front of me was slowing down. Now, you didn't see, at least in the video, you really couldn't determine the grade. And the, the, the tunnel was going down underneath the Mobile River or Mobile Lake or Mobile Bay or whatever they call it. And when I was coming into the um, tunnel, um, my big enormous windows, I saw all these cars in front of me with their, light, their brake lights on and I'm going about 45 miles an hour. So I start to slow down and I'm like, oh, am I gonna be able to slow down in time? <laughs> but I did. And then of course, after that, the grade goes up. And so Myrtle was pushing to get up the grade to get out. But then you saw the white light, which seemed like it took forever to get out of, of the tunnel. But I wanted to share the whole tunnel experience with you because I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, it, those, those windows are enormous. Um, you have great taste in music. Well, thank you, Grandma Patty. You're one of the few that says that. Mm -hmm. There's nobody else like you, and I mean that in a good way. Um, enjoy the ride. I'm sure I would. Thank you, um, Grandma Patty. I appreciate that. Um, I am authentic, and I am real. And I like that part of what I provide YouTube in terms of my channel. I think sometimes it's real easy to get behind a camera and edit this and edit that and whatnot. And I do a lot of editing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I spend hours editing videos. And sometimes you know, you, you ask yourself, is it really worth it to do that? But I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's something that gives me the opportunity to make a contribution to the RV community. And hopefully my videos are seen by people who are just beginning and who really want to know about the experience because that's why I'm doing it. You know, I originally started out my YouTube channel for my family and then all of a sudden over time all these people were following me and I'm like, what is it all these people want to see? And what I found out was it was a lot of people who want to live the life or who are living the life vicariously through my channel and I appreciate that and I have a tremendous amount of respect. And that's the reason why I want the content on my channel to be good because I think that people who are living vicariously through the channel deserve to see things that are engaging, entertaining, um, and also real. You know, nothing contrived and, and put on. So thank you, Grandma Patty. I appreciate the compliment. You're a sweetheart. And then my new friends, RN RV Chronicles. Now, you know, there's a lot to be said about meeting subscribers uh, on the road. And I had the opportunity to meet, to meet RN RV Chronicles, um, Dave and Katie Lesh. Um, wonderful, wonderful people, and we had a great two days together. They were heading from Arizona to Florida because Katie's a travel nurse, and Katie is taking a contract in Florida, and she'll be there for a little while. And then once she's done with that contract, evidently they're going up north to visit family, and then sometime in September, I think they're going to be back in Arizona. So I'm hoping to meet up with them there and do a travel contract with them as well. So. Um, R N R V Chronicle says, love the new intro. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Be safe and have fun no matter what happens. That's a big deal. Let's talk about that. Be for safe me. and have fun no matter what happens. You know, a lot of times for newbie RVers, there's all this um, worry that goes on about, you know, breaking down on the road, uh, any number of things that can go on. And I'm not immune to that as well. You know, I don't have a magic pill for that. I think the thing that's most important for somebody who's a new RVer is to understand that you're working with a machine. You know, it's an RV, it's a machine. Whether you're pulling um, a travel trailer, whether you're driving a Class C, whether you're driving a Class A, a B plus, or a van in the van life, breakdowns are going to happen. It's not about, you know, if, it's about when. 
And I think the biggest thing is that you have to be proactive in making sure that you do everything you can in your preventative maintenance to keep your rig in top shape. Now when I bought Myrtle, she had been neglected and so I spent a lot of time and money in the beginning um, fixing a lot of different things. My dad and I spent a lot of time, so if you've been a subscriber for a while, you may have seen the different things that we've done. Um, what comes to mind specifically is when I first brought Myrtle home and noticed that there was a bunch of red fluid leaking out of the, fr out of the front. Having no clue what it was, I brought it into the service shop and spent $2,000 getting um, the uh, oil compressor unit, whatever the hell that is, fixed. And, um, and they did a nice job because it did get fixed. And, but then I noticed that I had leaks and realized that uh, what was happening is uh, when the oil was changed, some of the oil splashed up into the cross pan um, that goes from axle to axle and it was just leaking out, but I saw leaks. And so my dad and I would get underneath there and we would look, we looked at the engine, we pulled the doghouse off, we did so many different things to find out where those leaks were coming from. And then one day I just went under there and I cleaned, I cleaned that, that connector piece and the leak stopped. So it was residual oil. Um, did some other repairs, repaired the, the, um, the fuel pump, um, after the RV died on me in the middle of the street, uh, having a panic attack, wondering, oh my God, how am I gonna move this 19,000 pound RV out of the road? But you don't, you just deal with it. I was able to get Myrtle started and pulled over into a bank parking lot, and then was able to get her back to the service center where they had to replace the uh, fuel pump. You know, there's a lot of things that are gonna go wrong, and I think the biggest thing is this anticipating um, and being pro proactive in your preventative maintenance. So, you know, when Dave says, um, be safe and have fun no matter what happens, that's related to my comments to him of how I white knuckled it coming up from Florida to Alabama. Now, it took me three days to get to Alabama because I stopped at a couple state, um, a couple state parks, visited with some family, but the entire way I was white knuckling it all the way here because I had this horrible um, feeling that impending doom was gonna happen. Something was gonna happen in the middle of the street, you know, in the middle of the highway, breaking down. Well, that never happened because Myrtle was well cared for and we did a lot of work on her before I hit the road. I did the same thing when I got back to Alabama after being in North Carolina. I spent a lot of time making sure that mechanically she was sound and driving her around. And so I think what, what Dave means is you know, no matter what happens, have fun, enjoy it. This is the adventure. There's good, there's bad, and there's the ugly associated with being an RVer. And I think the ugly is that breaking down on the side of the road. And I don't think any of us want that to happen. But when it does happen, you need to have a plan B. I learned that from my other friend, Mike, who came to visit me the week before um, our RN RV Chronicles came to visit. And he's driving this enormous 40-foot um, rig with a tandem tow. And the minute he takes off from Jacksonville, within a half an hour or 100 miles, he gets a DEF alarm going off on his diesel RV. And he said, you know what? You just deal with it. And he drove it to the Cummings dealer and had it fixed. Um, and I think that's what you have to think about. So no matter what happens, enjoy the light. Enjoy the ride. And I have to tell you guys, I did enjoy the ride. From Alabama to Louisiana, I didn't have a white knuckle experience. Um, I enjoyed, you know, driving Myrtle. I enjoyed the to revel in my own success that I'm able to tow my car, that I didn't have to inconvenience anybody to go back to Alabama to pick up my car. And so it was very nice. So thanks so much, RNRV Chronicles. And then Catherine Cook says, I miss that music so much. And I know she's referring to my intro music. For those of you who've been subscribers to my channel for a while, and I've said this before, um, I had this upbeat, whimsical um, intro music, and for a while I took that music off and replaced it with some other music. So a lot of my original subscribers were saying, oh, I really like that music, so thanks so much, I'm going to keep it, I think. And then she said, love the tunnels, um, could you film Kit while driving? No, Catherine, I can't, I can't film Kit while driving. I'm a solo RVer, so filming Kit while driving is gonna be challenging. I will tell you, though, 
what happens with Kit when um, she goes through this process when we begin to hit the road. First of all, when I start the RV up, she does not like the motor. And it takes her probably about an hour to get used to the motor. Obviously, within an hour, I'm usually moving by that point. And because of the way Kit was raised, she lived in her crate 24-7, I think. I don't know for sure, but I think she did. So in order to give her a safe place, I have the crate sitting up on the dinette, on the chair, on the dinette and the doors open and she can come and go as she pleases but she stays in her, her in her crate for about the first hour I'm on the road and then she will meander out she'll kind of be hesitant and then she'll go get a drink of water and then she'll hop up into the passenger seat and um, true to form when we were driving to Louisiana she did that she hopped up into the passenger seat now I don't know if you've noticed in the in the video but there was a yellow towel on the windshield that uh, on the dashboard and that yellow towel was for her so that when she lay down she'd have something comfortable to lay on um, and so sometimes if she's feeling really safe she'll get up on the on the dashboard and she'll lay there um, most of the time though she just sits in the passenger side and falls asleep now I could film that and I will do my best the next time I'm on the road to do that for you so that um, she is on video um, but it's tough to film while driving so um, because I usually keep both hands on the steering wheel when I'm driving this big massive RV okay but thank you very much Catherine I appreciate your comments and Kit loves you too camping with the Kellys looks like a nice park you know the park I'm here in Lafayette is beautiful um, very nice people the place is enormous when I'm coming from Alabama um, you know the sites are beautifully level in fact um, Myrtle is wonderfully level and I didn't have a problem leveling her at all normally when I level her and then I put the slide out the rig will tilt on the slide so I have to um, compensate that here I just elevated the two wheels up and I pulled the slide out and I'm still nice and level so yes it is a very nice park and thanks so much guys for watching the videos and hanging out with me let's see Mike Gondek, he says, you drove the rig like a pro. Proud of you, bud. Thanks, Mike. A lot of that's because of you and, um, and some of the things that Dave said from r, &R Chronicles. You guys really uh, kicked me in the butt, so I appreciate that. It kind of made things a lot easier for me. Moon Maiden NYC. Hey, Vivi. She says, thanks, Patrick, for taking me on that lovely ride. Glad you made it safely to Louisiana. Safe travels. Thanks, Moon Maiden. I appreciate it, Vivi. It's always great to have your comments on my channel. Gene Decker said, is there an app or something one can check to see if there are storms in the area you are going? I worry about coming across the tornado traveling across country. Me too, me too, Gene. Um, I use my radar and um, that has been a super app. It's free, um, I believe it's free. I know it's free for I iPhones. And I know it's, I believe it's free for Google Play. So I would definitely encourage you to download the app. It worked very well for me coming from Alabama to Louisiana, and it worked very well for me coming from Florida up to Alabama. So uh, I would definitely recommend that app very much. My friends, RV Adventure TV, Kim and Daryl, and it says, way to go, Patrick. Did I hear a little scream when you went through the tunnel in Mobile? You did great. I'm like, yeah. You probably heard me muttering a little scream like a girl as I was going through the tunnel. But uh, no, it was fine. Um, stop the man to start the adventure. So glad to have you guys on my channel. <laughs> and I'm hoping, gonna, hoping to come see you guys pretty soon. And then RV Daydream. So glad uh, to see you traveling again. And with a much needed tow dolly. Great video. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Uh, that's really important to, for me to hear. It's nice to be traveling again, I have to tell you. Uh, I felt like a caged rat in North Carolina, and I'm so happy to have my freedom back and to, uh, to be out here with y'all. Those are the comments. Um, that was the conversation. So much more to say. I want to talk about my reflection of a year being on the road, all that I've done um, in my mind, and all that I've done in terms of growth, and that'll be another video. 
thanks so much for hanging out with me and for my new subscribers it's great to have you on board I hope you've had the opportunity to go back and take a look at the origins of the paddy wagon and how this whole adventure started uh, if not I would encourage you to do that um, and for my uh, longtime diehards thank you guys so much for hanging in there the channel's been kind of flip-flopping up and down up and down um, so I'm not quite sure why that is but if you have some suggestions of videos that you'd like to see please put them in the comments all right guys thanks so much for hanging out and having a conversation with me today have a great day